Well hi everybody and welcome back. Well today I'm going to do a comparison between my lovely Chanel 19 in the lamb skin in the beautiful caramel and the Chanel 19 in the goat skin. I was lucky enough to get my hands on both of these two little beauties so stick around. And before I go anywhere, fragrance of today is Mon Guerlain by Guerlain. This is a beauty. The top notes are lavender and bergamot. Middle notes are iris, jasmine and rose. And the base notes are vanilla, coumarin, sandalwood, benzoin, licorice and patchouli. This is a little stunner. Love it. Very girly, very fresh, very sexy. And men seem to love it. Hi everybody and welcome back. Well yes today we are doing a comparison between these two beauties. The black Chanel 19 in the goat skin and the beautiful caramel Chanel 19 in the lamb skin. I was lucky enough to get my hands on both of these and you know the story. I had ordered this beauty first and then this one popped up and I went, oh my God. So then I ended up with both. We start off with this beauty as we've already done an overview of my beautiful caramel. So this one is the Chanel 19 in the black goat skin, as you can see there. The goat skin is different to the lamb skin in the feeling. And now, like I have to say, both bags are really, really soft. If you can just see the grain there and the shine on the leather, it's absolutely stunning. But the difference between these two, they're both so soft and so beautiful and so delicious. But I have to say the difference is the sheen and the glossiness. If you can just see, I'll just turn both there with the lights and everything. And you can just see the black there is a lot shinier. Now, the lambskin is still shiny and it's still beautiful and it is so, so buttery soft. It really, really is beautiful. Beautiful. There has to be some sort of coating on it though because I really do feel it's a lot more durable than a normal lambskin. I will, I will take out one of my lambskin bags and just show you just for comparison in a few minutes. And then with the Chanel 19 in the goat skin, you can just see there the glossiness and the difference in the finish. So there's definitely a coating of some sort on both bags, on both this goat skin and on the lambskin. But for some reason on the lambskin, or on the goat skin, obviously it's a different animal. It's goat skin. And so it's going to be slightly different. And I just think this goat skin is definitely going to be more durable. I know I only have both of these bags a couple of months, particularly, well, this one actually, I only have a few weeks and my caramel one, I have just slightly over a month, I'd say. So I have actually used both bags and taken them out just for comparison. And I just have a feeling and I can guess that this one is going to be more durable for a couple of different reasons. Obviously because of the coating on the actual goat skin and the type of the leather that it is in itself. Plus obviously the color black is going to be more durable than the beautiful caramel that we have here. If you were to ask me, you know, which one were you to buy, I would recommend a couple of points just to keep in your mind. And I'll be telling you those in a second because it obviously depends on the color that you're going to pick and the different needs of your lifestyle and things like that. So on the goat skin here, you can actually see the grain on the leather and it just seems to be, it, now obviously the grain is not as coarse as on a caviar bag or anything like that, but it just seems to be slightly different. And I don't know if that's because of the coating than the coating on the caramel or than the grain on the caramel. A lot of people are saying the goat skin gets wrinkly a lot more and wrinkles in different places. Now, as you can see mine there, it is not particularly, I have seen some other videos and around this area here, it's quite wrinkly. Um, but my bag is not so far touch wood. And actually, to be honest, that wouldn't bother me too much either because it is the nature of the bag. It's the nature of the leather. I don't mind what a natural uh, material is going to do if it's natural and that's what it's supposed to do. It doesn't bother me at all. These are both squishy, beautiful 
scrumptious soft bags and that's what I absolutely love about them but what I also love about them is they both still have a bit of structure to them now I have organizers inside both of mine here today that I'm going to show you in a sec you know that I always use the organizers from Zumoni they just keep the structure and the shape which I just love it helps to maintain the bag but I definitely think for some reason my goat skin maybe has that edge of the structure and this is what I love about both of these bags they're casual bags they are modern looking bags with the big CC and the big quilting on both of them and the chains and the chunkiness and the three different um, metals on the hardware you've got the ruthenium the aged gold and the shiny gold and I just absolutely love that as you can see the chains are sewn on here on top and my favorite of course is the top handle and the crossbody this is the Chanel 19 and the small we call it and on the website, they just call this one the Chanel 19. Sometimes they refer to it in Chanel as the medium. On the Lux community, we call it the small. But if you look on the website, it just says Chanel 19. Then you can get the large, then you can get the maxi. Of course, you can get the Chanel 19 belt bag and the little um, crossbody bag, which is the, it's like the wallet on chain. So they're the five different variations. I'm very, very happy with this size. The measurements of this are 10.2 inches in length and then you have in width is 3.5 inches and 6.3 inches from top to bottom now I just love the size of these two bags they are very comparable to the medium classic um, from Chanel in size I had the option to buy the classic flap when I was getting this beauty but I decided this was gonna suit my lifestyle better it was just gonna fit in with what I wear how I like to wear it more durable more casual and the other bag would have just sat in my closet looking beautiful and I said no we're not having that so I went for, for this one but they're very very comparable in size to the Chanel medium classic flap then the crossbody is a great length I'm going to do some mod shots for you as well in a few minutes but the crossbody strap is a good length it's 19 inches uh, so I'm again 175 centimeters five foot nine for anybody wondering and the top handle drop here from top to bottom is three and a half inches now I just wanted to show you because I do think that the lambskin in this one is definitely more durable and I just wanted just to show you my little lambskin here in the classic small now this one I'm not sure if you're going to see any slight wear on the corners because she's actually in quite good condition but just to show you that in these bags and the lambskin particularly you you know you're more susceptible to wear on the corners with the lambskin and um, it is a little delicate little flower really you know but that's why I got this one in the vintage I absolutely love this bag I love the color red and to be honest I don't see any of that happening with this lambskin bag or with the goatskin bag they just are definitely more durable whatever coating they have on them now neither bag has any feet on the end either and I know that really is a deal breaker for some people but for me to be honest I just love the large quilting as I was saying it's quite a modern bag and I love that about it but that is not a deal breaker for me because I will either hang it up on something whether it be a little handbag hook or I will just hold it or put it so on something like when I store this I put it on a piece of felt I don't put it directly on my closet because you know there's going to be wear and tear you know and protect it as much as you can so that's what I think about both of these I just think for an everyday bag that was another reason I went for these bags they are amazing as everyday bags they are dress it up dress it down casual modern chic edgy they just have it all going spacious fit everything you don't have to think you don't have to structure everything you don't have to play Tetris when you're fitting your items into your bag and I think that is just amazing you know I love mini bags but it is so nice to have the option to have a medium sized bag as well and a medium sized bag that is light and I know with the chains people might go on that couldn't be light I mean look at the chains on that it's like well it is now I mean that the chains are obviously have a little bit of weight to them but it's more they're substantial they look luxurious they're not too heavy they are just it's like you know you've paid nice money for this bag you're getting quality and finish and the way these bags are made and finished is absolutely on point and just stunning I have to say as well now what I was going to say to you about recommending is 
If I love both of them, okay, and I have two, I'm lucky to have the two, the lambskin and the goat skin, and it's nice to be able to compare them. If I was to go and buy a third, I don't think I'd ever do that because, well, I'd never say never, but I don't generally duplicate my bags. I know I've absolutely eaten my words letter by letter in this um, instance, but like it was one of those situations. I just love them and I've zero regrets. I love them. I'd recommend these bags to anybody. What I would recommend is thinking about this. If I was to buy a third, first of all, it would depend on what color I was going for in the bag because I just think the color saturation, I think, my opinion, in the lambskin, and I think that is why this bag is just so stunningly beautiful color-wise. In my opinion, you can't top this bag color-wise. It is so beautiful. I've seen some of the newer bags and like an aqua kind of a color, greeny blues, just so beautiful. And the lambskin, I just think the color saturation in lambskin, you cannot beat it. Now, again, you know, that's not taking for one second from this goatskin for durability and if I was to buy only one of these bags again maybe I would just go for the black because of its versatility but color wise if I was to go for a color and I wanted a, a bag with a color I think I would go lambskin because of the color saturation it just does color so so well what would I go for the goat skin or the lambskin I think because now I have a lambskin and I have a goat skin I think I might go for a goat skin because it's worry free I feel it's worry free that you would just grab and go, you know, you don't have to think about what you're bringing, putting inside, everything fits anyway, and you're not worrying at all. But in saying that, if it's just your first, think about the color saturation for yourself, think about your wardrobe, think about what you already have. If you have five or six different black bags, then there's no point in going for another black bag, is there? <laughs> Unless you're gonna sell some, which I did too. So that's my opinion on my recommendation. I did want to show you what fits because in the last video I did of this little beauty, I showed you what fits, but I showed you what fits without the organizer. So I thought it would be nice to show you inside the black one this time and show you what fits with the organizer because obviously the organizer takes up a little bit of room and you're not going to be able to fit in as much stuff with the organizer inside. I always have an organizer in particularly this kind of a bag to give it that more structure and shape, particularly when I'm storing it. It just sits on my unit inside like that and it is just amazing like I used to have to stuff it. I know I still put you know the Chanel paper and things like that but I used to have to put bubble wrap and different things in and that's why I just love 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 the um, organizers and actually one of my subscribers did ask me to do a video of um, different size organizers in different bags so I might do that for you as well if that's something you're interested in so just to show you this one is red and as you know I'm sure a lot of you know the inside of the bag obviously is in a beautiful burgundy color which i just love and has the plate and actually i haven't even taken off the plastic off the little zip there yet must take that off and it has a good little spacious pocket inside there as well that's just the authenticity card and so i'm not going to use that now today because i just want to show you what fits with the organizer inside if that's the way you wanted to do it as i said a lot of the time i take the organizer out and just do it that way now i already have in my little bastia coin purse so we can does she fit in one of those side pockets let me see no we'll just leave her in there um i will bring my mini pochette we stick her inside. So of course, I would bring my phone. We stick that in there. And then I want to show you these two little beauties. Would you look? Uh, Dress Up Your Purse sent me these and I just absolutely love them. They are little card holders and you can also use them as a little bag charm. I mean, you've seen the Hermes ones, the, the uh, Kali, is it Kali it's called? Very expensive and these are just look at the rose gold and my little cards and different things inside just for your extra ones I think the colors are beautiful they also sent me a green one and again I just love those colors particularly for coming into summer and uh, yeah so if you want to have a look you know my codes are down below for Zumoni and dress up your purse so have a look so I'm gonna stick this one in today with my other items inside and we're looking like this at the moment then I'm going to put in a little Dior lipstick as well even though this one is full of lipsticks and everything else just to show you what fits with the little organizer inside there you go and then on top of that I'm going to bring my hand sanitizer 
and that in on top and then sure look at I will throw in my Charlotte Tilbury powder and that can go in one of the slip pockets and look at that whoops that always happens doesn't it now so hand sanitizer back in and then you close everything up and it is not a bother and what I love is how structured then and weighty and beautiful I didn't even have to put my phone inside actually as you know because the pocket on the back will fit my phone which is inside now anyway so you have all those options look at I can put my earbuds inside here in the back I could put another lip balm and you could just keep going this bag is amazing I know that's a little bit stuff now but um, just to show you what you could and it's not going to put it out of shape at all so that's what fits with the organizer in she fits an awful lot and then one or two more obviously items if you didn't have the Zumoni organizer but it's just I think it's gorgeous for organization and all the rest of it I, I just think this bag is the Chanel version of the Pichette Matisse and you know how much I love my Pichette Matisse so I mean without all the compartments and but sure with the, you can make it what you want to make of it when you use the organizer inside and it is the best bag for how much it can hold for sure it is definitely I just think it's a little masterpiece of a bag it's something beautiful that Karl Lagerfeld left behind in his legacy and what a lovely you know going away present for everybody to remind him and on the inside in here is so so buttery soft obviously doesn't have the, the quilting inside she's just a beauty I mean I can't recommend these bags highly enough I love the fact that they're crossbody and I would recommend these bags to anybody so I hope you have enjoyed this video and if you'd like to see any other videos on these two beauties do not hesitate to ask comment down below let me know if you were lucky enough to get anything from the Chanel 21p or if you've anything coming up in this spring summer the cruise collection on your mind and if you're lucky enough or you have a Chanel 19 and what you think of it and until next time be kind be safe be compassionate love you lots Mwah.